Hello second grade and welcome to another science investigation. For the past week and a half we have been looking at different investigations and different ways you can mix solids and liquids with water to determine the changes that happen and if those changes are reversible or irreversible. As we were doing our investigation I started to think are there other types of of materials that we can mix with water to figure out if they're solids or if they're liquids? Well, today we are going to do an investigation with something that you all may use or should use every single day, and that's toothpaste. Now, toothpaste. Is toothpaste a solid or is it a liquid? Some people may say it's a solid. Some people may say it's a liquid. But one way that we can check to see whether it's a solid or a liquid is by doing an investigation. And we are going to investigate this toothpaste in the same way that we have been investigating the other solids and liquids for the past few weeks. Let's begin. Now I have gone ahead and placed our toothpaste on this piece of paper here. And the first thing we are going to do is observe it the way it is outside of water. So let's take a close look. So use your property words to tell what the toothpaste looks like from the camera view. If you want, if your parents say it's okay, you can get a little dab of toothpaste to observe yourself at home to see how it feels. If they say that it's not the right time to observe the toothpaste, you can finish watching this video to see what observations we can make together. So if I take my spoon and if I push down on the toothpaste, I see that it's easy to move, right? It looks a little bit sticky too. Also, I see that it has color. It has a little bit of color to it, like a light blue color in this case, or greenish blue. Also, we know that toothpaste oftentimes has smell. It has like a minty smell to it. What other property words can we use to describe toothpaste? Think about when you brush your teeth before you put the water on top of your toothbrush. You could pause this video and write down your thoughts in your notebook or on your Google slide. Now, our next step is going to be to put the toothpaste inside of the water to see what happens. So remember, for the past week and a half, we've been putting our solids and liquids and observing them. We've been putting the liquids inside of water and observing it. Now we're going to put this toothpaste inside of the water and we're going to observe it to see what happens when toothpaste is mixed with water. So let's take our toothpaste up and take it up with the spoon as much as I can. Oh, look at that. It's so sticky. It's hard to take up. Now I'm going to try to place it inside of the water bottle. some time to get down oh got stuck a little bit there we go okay let's put the cover on and let's observe did anything happen when it dropped inside of the water well it looked like it sank all the way to the bottom of the liquid Hmm, do you think that makes it a liquid or does that make it a solid? What do we know about solids and liquids when they're first put into water that this toothpaste has just done? Okay, you see it's just sitting down there at the bottom of the water, not doing much change. If I tilt it to the side, it takes some time to fall off of the bottom. See if I tilt it to the other side. 
Okay, it's taking its time to float down to the bottom. All right. Now, the next part of our investigation, we are going to shake it up to see what happens when toothpaste is really, really mixed up with water. Do you think it will stay the same, stay the same shape and size? Or do you think that it will be mixed up all inside of the water, just like some of the liquids did when we shook them up earlier this week? Right, we're gonna try it out. Are you ready? Let's shake it up. As I'm shaking, think about what happens when you brush your teeth. You put water on top of your toothbrush, then you place it in your mouth, and... <gasps> Whoa, what happened to the water? Yes, it got foamy on the top of the water on the top layer. What other liquid does this remind you of? Which other liquids got foamy when we shook it up? If you said the dish soap, the hand soap, and the laundry detergent, you're right. Yeah, those got foamy. And we still have just a little bit of toothpaste that seems at the bottom. Very interesting. I wonder if I shake it up a little bit more if it'll disappear. Let's see. Shaking and shaking and shaking and shaking and shaking really hard. Let's see what happens. Is it still there? Ah, it's still there. Very interesting. I think we should record this in our notebook. It seems that some of the toothpaste dissolved in the water and made it cloudy at the bottom. Now the water is translucent and then at the top there's lots of foam. But unlike the other solids and liquids that we've worked with, some of the pieces of the toothpaste is still at the bottom. So the next part of our investigation is leaving it overnight. Just like we did with the other investigations, we are going to leave it overnight and check back tomorrow to see if there's any changes that happen. And as you're making your observations, I want you to keep that big question in mind. Is toothpaste a solid or is it a liquid? I hope this investigation helped.